Hi, I'm Steve Boyles, Ohio State Beef Extension Specialist, and this presentation is on livestock trailers, their use and maintenance. Trailers ideally are kept in good repair and good condition. Make sure the tires have proper pressure and adequate tread. Make sure that the greasing is done according to manufacturer recommendations. People want to be aware of us out on the road, so make sure the brake lights are working uh, before we actually load cattle. Also make sure the brakes are working as well before uh, loading livestock. Trailers might be a little different than our truck and cars in that we have to be aware of age of tire uh, with these trailers. Uh, you can look at the DOT on the side of the tire and the last four digits give us an idea on age. For example, the 36 here indicate it was this tire was uh, produced in the 36th week of the year, 2005. Tires older than five years old, we might consider switching out. At least be aware of the condition of the tires that are on this trailer. Make sure there's a jack capable of lifting the trailer when it's fully loaded. Um, someone might consider throwing in a few blocks in the back of the truck uh, to help in case we're on the side of the road and need to hold up a trailer. The flooring in the trailer is important as well. Ideally, you have a non-slip surface. Uh, maybe cattle panels could be used. If so, make sure enough staples are utilized to keep it secure. Uh, some rubber mats could work very well in this situation. Is this truck capable of handling the trailer? Look at the gross vehicle weight rating, the GVWR, on the truck. If you have questions about that, certainly check with the local truck dealer on uh, the capabilities of the truck you have. We may need to plan out a route uh, when we're using a trailer. Certainly we're going to be driving carefully to minimize uh, bruising and injury, but if you're aware of short turns or a heavy traffic area, uh, consideration could be made for an alternative route. Uh, typically we're going to accelerate more gently and brake more gently uh, hauling cattle in a trailer than we would if the trailer wasn't on the back of the truck. Ideally in hot weather we're going to move cattle early in the morning. That allows for overnight the roads to cool off. Uh, if we can move a day ahead or back in cold weather uh, cold, sleet, rainy weather uh, increases stress on cattle. So if we can find an alternative date, that's going to reduce some of the stress. This table has a lot of numbers on it. This gives the width of a trailer, the length of a trailer, and then different sizes of cattle and how many cattle uh, could probably be put on this trailer. If you're interested in this table, you can contact me at my email address. Here it is at the top of the slide, boils.4 at osu.edu and I would be glad to send you this table. Use good handling skills when we're loading and unloading the cattle. Moving quietly, uh, minimize the use of electric prods or aggressive use of sticks, canes, or whips. Keep in mind different groups of cattle. Uh, the heaviest cattle price should be placed at the front of the trailer. Uh, Cattle that have horns should be separated from those that don't have horns. Or you have, say, a set of bulls that have not been together. Uh, they probably need to be maintained separately. Or if you're going to two different farms in a day, uh, those cattle should be separated on the trailer so they're not fighting. Also, keep in mind, if we happen to have that trailer packed a little too tight, that the gate, when it's open, make sure it doesn't pop back and uh, cause injury. Uh, to anyone. Is what we're going to load on the truck actually being fit to be on that trailer? Uh, there are new FDA regulations with regards to non-ambulatory cattle uh, going to a packing plant. So you have to look at those animals. Can they walk normally bearing weight on all four legs? And also keep in mind beef quality assurance uh, if they've been administered some sort of uh, medicine, what was the withdrawal time uh, when that stuff was you know, provided to the animal. I certainly want to acknowledge some sources I used in this for this presentation. 